Hi everybody, AJ here. I recently got to teach about vortex rings at a local elementary school, and it was a ton of fun. The students actually wrote me this thank you book with a bunch of follow-up questions, so oh, I figured oh, oh, pick me, pick I should start me, oh, answering them. This one's from Sadie. Dear AJ, thank you for coming to our school and teaching us about science. I thought it was really interesting the way the vortex rings shot out of the vortex generators. But I did have one question. Could you make a square vortex ring? That's a great question, Sadie. Let's go find out. In episode four of Lib Lab, and with a little bit of help from the Oregon State University drumline, we learned that you could make a vortex generator out of a cardboard box. Ooh. Ooh. The box worked as a vortex generator due to a combination of shear force and the Bernoulli principle. There's a link in the description to Lib Lab episode 4 with a full explanation of how that worked. In that episode, we also learned that with a little bit of stage fog, we could see that the vortex generator was really making vortex rings that clearly shot across the room. It also uh, filled the setup with a lot of fog. Proper ventilation. I'm a big fan. To answer Sadie's question, all we need is a vortex generator with a square hole. Let's run some tests and see what happens. Comparing the vortex generators side by side, we can see that both the square and round holes form circular vortex rings. But why is that? Let's take a closer look. A vortex ring is like a round rotating tube. Imagine something like this slinky, with the coils rotating out and around back into the center of the tube. When the vortex generator is round, the rotating air is equally spread out around the ring. But that's not true when the vortex generator is square. In the case of a square vortex generator, the rotating air interferes with itself at the corners. This causes those parts of the vortex ring to break down. When this breakdown happens, the vortex forms into a more stable ring. So there you go, Sadie. A square hole makes a round ring because interference at the corners causes the vortex to break down and form back into a circle. If you have any more awesome science questions, leave them for us in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching Lib Lab Extra.